Welcome back, everybody. It is a glorious day on the Glorious Sunrise Podcast. It is episode number four, and as promised, this this week's episode is going to be a big one. We got a really good topic that uh, probably the title has already spoiled, but first I got to ask, Country Fried, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. I really am, man. I'm excited for this. Uh, a little bit nervous, but uh, doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. This is, I think, the most exciting news for It Resolves in years potentially like this is a really really big step for i think both of us um and again as the title suggested we are officially joining forces uh so this episode is going to be kind of explaining a little bit behind the scenes what's been going on uh kind of getting our thoughts and feelings on the whole thing and then what expected changes you guys can can look forward to uh as far as you know the future of the channel those kinds of things uh, as well as the future of the podcast, everything. So this is going to affect basically everything that happens here on the It Resolves channel. Uh, and again, this is, I think, probably the most exciting news that we've had in, in years. I think this is awesome. Yeah, no pressure. No, no pressure, no pressure at all. Uh, so allow me to set the stage, if I may. Uh, because I do think that's very important to know the context of what's been going on. Uh, for everybody watching and viewing, we're going to get into some of the details, but uh, I'm going to try and keep some of it short and sweet because you don't need to know every little detail about what's been going on. But it is really important, I think, for you guys to know the context of all this. So uh, to, to set that up, basically what happened uh, months ago is Country Fried and I decided we were going to do a mini series together. That miniseries was season one of It Is What It Is, which was really tailored to uh, Country Fried, your play style when it comes to magic and the jank aspect, the fun aspect. And we ended up having a blast on that series. It was an absolute blast. Viewership wasn't, I, I think it's safe to say viewership wasn't exactly where we wanted it in the end. Mm -hmm. But um, that being said, we had a blast. And I think that was really the only goal that you and I had, if I'm not mistaken yeah no man we did have a blast and yeah there's there's nothing wrong with saying that sometimes we try ideas and uh it doesn't grab the traction we want it doesn't mean we just you know uh dump the idea no. it just may need to grow a little more in audience and maybe understanding of what we're doing with it but uh yeah we had a blast with it man um there's no shame in it uh we, <laughs> we were trying something a little bit different and uh yeah it just it was it was a lot of fun man there yeah. is no other no chance I was going into historic unless that yeah, happened. Exactly. So. It was it was really a push for both of us in a different direction mm -hmm. because, you know, as you mentioned, historic is a format that I think it's safe to say both of us don't play at all or very often, at least. Um, right. And so it was a really new experience with a much wider card pool than we're used to, especially being very standard focused channels. Um, and so it was a little bit challenging. But I think in that we ended up having a really good time being able to build some really janky, silly decks uh, that actually spawned this podcast uh, in the sense that we both fell, fell very much in love with Glorious Sunrise, the card. Uh, and we had a silly idea of starting a podcast and we were like, well, what's the name? And that's where the name of the podcast ended up coming from. So it's kind of an odd chain of events that led to where we are today. Uh, but because that, that series went so well, uh, on the back end of things and because the podcast has been such a success in terms of you know we are getting viewership but we're also just having a blast doing it um we kind of had a talk behind the scenes uh and i remember specifically i was so nervous because I'm, I'm i will get into <laughs> details here uh we always chatted through twitter and so i was i was responding to one of your messages i believe uh and i i threw it out there wholeheartedly expecting you to like not decline because you're way too nice to just be like no nah, i don't want to do that but i thought you would be like uh oh, let me think about it like i'm not really sure all this stuff and i'll let you say you know how you felt at the time and all that stuff but basically i reached out to to country fried and i was like hey dude just out of curiosity would you be down for like becoming a part of the it resolves channel officially like this is what you know you stream for it resolves now what are your thoughts? And I was so nervous during that time. And I'll, I'll let you take over from here because obviously you got the message. You had your own response. So what were you thinking at the time? Yeah, man. Well, uh, look, it's it's 
it's a huge change. It is a huge change. And I'm always down to work with you, Kevin. Um, <laughs> I was super excited about it. I was definitely open to the discussion. Um, I did explain on my live stream to my audience, my community, um, that, uh, you know, it, I was a little worried about the discussion because we had such a, a good working relationship that uh, stuff like that can go sideways really quick oh, if, yeah. uh, if there's not, you know, a whole lot of agreement or a whole lot of open uh, openness to uh, to hearing the discussion in full and, uh, you know, answer questions and concerns and the back and forth of it. Uh, so I was super excited about it. I didn't think we'd have a problem with it. Man. I, we, we've never had a problem with discussing things behind the scenes. And uh, and like I told my audience, uh, you know, I told them it, it started out as a very raw discussion. It was like, all right, well, you know, we can't joke around like yeah. we normally do. We, we actually <laughs> have to sit down and talk like two professionals and, and hash this out. <laughs> it's, it's still not our strong it's, suit. Uh, <laughs> it still deviates back to being goofy. Yeah, but, uh, um, but, uh, but no, man, um, my biggest concern was my community because uh, we say subscribers and, and it was like and I did explain it to them exactly like this. We say subscribers and community and subscribers are are one and the same. However, um uh i don't like saying subscribers i don't don't care i mean i do care if my numbers go up and i'm grabbing traction and stuff like that however uh, i'm more into uh community focused i want to i want to know these people i want to talk magic with them and i yeah. want to show them really unusual stuff and it's you know i do a lot of look at what i can do moments <laughs> with my decks and stuff like that but but the community has become really strong over there and i was i was really worried about them but uh Man, they're killing me behind the scenes, dude. Uh, the direct messages I'm getting in Discord and on the <laughs> videos and stuff. Um, the support has been amazing with the Country Club. And, yeah. uh, dude, I'm not a crier. I'm not a crier. Oh, no. but man, they're, they're hitting me right in the feels in yes. these messages, man. So uh, it, is, it is almost like, it, well, it's not almost like, it is a community. Yeah. But a lot of these people have become real friends, even even with the barriers of the monitors and mm -hmm. and the videos and everything. We 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 talk yeah. in Discord and DMs and and video chats and live streams. Uh, you know, like the YouTube chat. I mean, um, yeah. and other live streams that we frequent together. Yeah. So uh, that was a concern, but uh, no, man, I was super excited about it because we've always had really good rapport <laughs> with each other and it just like i told them it's effortless yeah. sometimes uh i don't i don't know that anybody knows or could understand how effortless <laughs> it has been and that was a big factor to uh being really open to the discussion and um yeah of course it's a huge tent to come under uh the it resolves channel but uh, the way we discussed it i'm sure we'll get more into it in here yeah um it was uh it was manageable man good <laughs> it was well super i'm manageable. glad to hear that because i never actually asked your opinion uh you know mm -hmm. prior to this we were talking about you know some of the things that we'd be discussing but i never actually asked how you felt in that moment of me asking because one one thing i want to point out here is uh and you really touched on this is that everything that we've been able to the opportunities that we've had to work on things together whether they be content whether they be behind the scenes whatever it might be um it has been truly effortless it has been truly like just i don't want to use the like match made in heaven thing because it makes it sound like <laughs> we got something else going on and we don't um Dude, happily married romance uh yeah it's me too but no yeah. i'm just saying <laughs> um but uh <laughs> we we really have had a blast in the things that we've worked on and it really hasn't been difficult it's been a lot of setup in a lot of cases and in and most of the cases a lot of work but it's not been work that's felt like work it's been work that's felt productive it's been things that have felt progressive for both of us and i think it's been a really exciting moment or, or a series of moments throughout that time that we've worked together and so um for me when i did send that message my thoughts was uh and and sitting down and really considering how i wanted to frame this to you i was thinking okay what what does it resolve lack that i feel like you know you as the country fried channel really has succeeded in 
is there overlap in which we can we can kind of bring these two together and hit both halves of a single hole and um what ended up really sticking out to me is something that you touched on which is the community that you have built as the country club um because you know i pop into streams as well of yours or i have in the past um it'll be a little tricky now because we're under the same account um but (laughs) but uh you know i've i've popped into your streams and had an absolute blast talking with not just you but members of your community Mm -hmm. and um really getting to feel that 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 sort of family oriented vibe that you've really done a great job to create Um, And one of the areas where I feel like I personally have been lacking and where I feel I've let it resolves down a little bit is that, you know, it resolves. I I'm relatively good at putting content out every single day, creating what I think to be entertaining content and hopefully is entertaining for the viewership and all that stuff. Numbers certainly say so, which is great. But what I'm not great at doing because of time and other constraints on my end and just personal barriers of my own is building that live community of people who I regularly talk to or regularly work with or uh, setting up a live stream or a time that I can do it on a regular basis and those kinds of things. Um, And a lot of that has to do with external factors, full-time job, all that. But um, a lot of those things are, I feel have been lacking in it resolves as a channel. Um, And I want very heavily to build that. We've tried in the past and it's just never been a super consistent thing because of my schedule. Uh, And so when I look at the Country Fried channel, I'm like, wow, he has everything that I I feel it resolves is missing. He's working to build that for himself. And despite being a relatively new streamer, you are building that community very quickly and in a very deep-seated way. Uh, And so... Part of me asking this and part of us going through this process has been like, yeah, this this is what it resolves is missing, in my view. Um, now, community members may feel differently, and that's fine. But uh, I think building that personal aspect of it is something that I want desperately for it resolves and that I really feel strongly that you have worked to create for the country club and that I want you to continue to create without losing the country club on it resolves. And I think... Um, because of all that and because thinking through that and that kind of stuff, I was just like, this is such a no brainer question for me to ask. And despite that, I was still crazy nervous. I remember <laughs> I, I was talking to Caitlin, my wife, and uh, I was just like, I just asked Country Fried if he would be a part of it resolves. I'm basically asking him to give up everything he's done for the last six to eight months and bring it over to it resolves. What do you think? And she's like, That'd be great. And I'm like, all right, cool. That was a relatively helpful response. (laughs) Um, But then obviously we talked more about it and you ended up saying yes. Mm -hmm. And here we are. It's happening. Yeah, man, it really is. Um, Look, uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw the target out there because I know other people are going to be thinking it and and we'll work back to what (laughs) you just covered. Hey, look, man, I mean, channel wise, you're you're what? 12 15 percent larger than mine so um you know but uh, that was never a factor with it uh i mean it should it, it's nice yeah but uh but uh, i just want the community to know as a whole on both sides of the field that, that wasn't that wasn't it and uh yeah. even before we started working together when we had discussed it when you'd popped up in one of my streams and said hey hit me up i got an idea um, I told my wife that was the first statement I said afterwards. I was like, "Look, man, this this guy from It Resolves wants to do this series and discuss about the the possibilities." And I was like, "I'm just, I flat out, if if we don't click, it's going to be a no." Yeah. Um, I hope I don't make a huge <laughs> enemy <laughs> fast, no. but uh, but no, man. Um, I've. I cannot explain how effortless it has been from the first moment we talked. And, uh, you know, I, I consider myself really lucky. I don't, I don't have a whole lot of, you know, uh, friends that I, I do a lot of stuff with like this. Um, and, uh, I'm very selective in it and it was super easy and coming under the, uh, it resolves channel. It, it was, you know, there were, there were discussions, there yeah. were concerns and stuff, but it was, it was an always open discussion. Um, I think 
if I'm being completely honest, I think in the back of my mind, it was always going to be a yes. It was just, how do we get there? <laughs> yeah. You know, and that was, uh, that was the, the part of me that was relying on us to be open enough and professional enough to discuss it through until I was comfortable enough to say yes, which uh, was, you know, that's uh, in the end, that's what it became. But uh, I do appreciate the kind words about the community. They are a super loyal group <laughs> and super fun. And um, we have built it where we have experienced players that can answer questions. Yeah. Um, we have, uh hobby players that just come in for new ideas uh we got a brand new player that didn't even start arena until like two weeks ago and he's already in platinum and beats nice. me in direct challenges online on, on on stream so that's so sick um you know and he came in and he was just firing away with questions yeah. but uh yeah it's it's there the community i've built has always been open to uh bring bring your questions let's talk magic let's yeah. just have fun and uh no no questions a stupid question um <laughs> if that's the case man you're you're probably not gonna watch my stream anyways because i'll make <laughs> him this play a minute but uh but no that's the community is really strong really loyal and um uh, what's even crazy is uh they're strong with each other yeah. You know, they hang out in other chats with each other and we'll talk to each other in other chats and live streams as well. And it's, yeah, man, it's just kind of become a family. So I'm looking forward to try and bring that. To, uh, well, I'm not trying. Yeah, it's <laughs> I'm happening now. It. As of today, I'm guys, this is the official announcement. But, uh, you know, to, to put a time on this and, you know, give a little bit more detail on everything. Um, well, actually... First, I just want to say, to your point, what you've been talking about, I want to say from the It Resolves side of things, I want to welcome everybody from the Country Club who does decide to stick around with uh, with Country Fried here and hang out on stream and uh, who who wants to be a part of the, the It Resolves community. A sincere welcome from myself personally, but everybody in our community. I've worked very hard as well to build a community that's a positive one. Um and a helpful one and a lot of that gets done in discord a lot of those things you know those conversations that you mentioned happening in, happening in live streams a lot of that stuff happens more behind the scenes in the it resolves community because we don't get the opportunity to live stream and so um i do want to say and encourage everybody who might be coming over from the country fried side of things like feel welcome feel confident and asking questions hanging out and being a part of the community we are lucky to have you I, I want to make that very, very clear uh, that I firmly believe on the It Resolve side of things that what Country Fried here has to offer as well as the country club as a whole is is what It Resolves is missing. And so in my view, we are the lucky ones in this whole thing. Uh, and so thank you for, for considering It Resolves as, as part of this larger community, but also to Country Fried for, for being willing to do all of this because I do think it's uh we're making out is, is my view uh the it resolves community is making out so um but all that to say you know this is the official announcement of all this i know country fried you mentioned this to a couple of your your members during live streams this past week i've not said a thing to any of our community members because i wanted this to be the first thing however what i did do a little sneaky behind the scenes uh, mm -hmm. is create a content calendar on our it resolves uh, mtg.com website which anybody can go check out it's under the videos tab it's just a little drop down for the content calendar what you can see there is not just our normal content schedule and what i mean by that is the gameplay release all that kind of stuff um, but also the the stream schedule that country fried has agreed to so i'll let you kind of talk about that um, because obviously you've set that up for yourself so uh, I know later today, though, we get the first one. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, we're going into it, man. And before we jump into that, thank you for uh, for the the words to the community that we're bringing over the country club. Um, I, I've I've been sneaky, too, man. I've, I've looked. They're already in your discord. They're already in your <laughs> videos now. They're starting to pop up. Um, yeah. So I, I was I was more worried about a leak coming. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I mean, if anybody went to my live stream and hit the timestamp from uh, Tuesday's live stream that night, um, that's when we uh, discussed it. And it's it's not so much a formal 
announcement. It was a very personal announcement. Yeah. So it allowed a Q and A, and that's just the way my community was. I couldn't. Yeah. My community isn't the type where I could just go in and be like, "Hey, this is what's happening," and then just start playing <laughs> again. They would. They would absolutely wreck me. Yeah. But but uh, we did. Man, we we talked about it probably 30, 45 minutes, Good. and uh, and uh, you know, there's you know there there's an ownership kind of feel yeah. to the community when they kind of support and come to a stream on a regular basis or a channel. Um, so I was worried about a little hit to trust, but, uh, we, we, we sat and we discussed it and hashed it out and they're really excited about it and they're super supportive guys. Um, you're, you're probably not going to see it so much in the videos or on stream, but, uh, I get, I'm getting DMS daily <laughs> that just, just trying to encourage me saying, Hey, it's, it's the right move. Good. for you and we'll support it and we'll come on board with it and support you through it and that's uh that's the community we got man they're killing me man they're killing me oh <laughs> but, no uh, <laughs> it, like it, like emotionally i'm just like man these guys are great i love them i do and when i say that it's not uh you know i'm not just playing to them um i love them man yeah. they, they, you couldn't ask for a better group to support you in a transition like this but to your point yes tonight will be the first live stream yeah. of of country fried <laughs> under channel it resolves yeah so please come join us and have a lot of fun and meet the country club and uh and uh we do uh you know we'll be uh monday tuesdays thursdays and fridays from 7 p.m to 9 p.m central standard time here on youtube uh under the it resolves channel and that will stay that way it's only two hours but uh if you know we have a good friday night or something where i think you know people can stick around and stuff like that um you know it allows us to add an hour if we can but that won't be a norm that'll be you know hey if we're doing if we're doing a lot of things and uh we're all rolling yeah then we'll, we'll add the hour and uh there's chances of popping up you know, a Saturday or Sunday or even an earlier two hour stream. Um, definitely on set releases and stuff like that. Yeah. I like to uh I like to stream the set releases and and that may be something we do together yeah, exactly. here on out that we'd have to talk about. But uh because that's a huge day. And um something that we do on the stream as well that you guys might enjoy, might not, but you might enjoy and you can definitely take part in is uh we do direct challenges. Um, and it's where, and it's where you can bring your deck, whether you're building it to be, um, very viable uh, against the rank ladder and try it out and just let me know that I'm about to get crushed <laughs> or you can try and land the trick like I do in a jank deck and, um, we can, you know, you can bring it in and we can just play for fun. And we do a lot of direct challenges on stream and that started because of our set release. Everybody knows that wizards of the coast didn't roll it out quite right and everybody was waiting to get in <laughs> and uh we started doing direct challenges we were one of the first uh channels to put out a um video for streets of new cabana with play actual gameplay that wasn't pre-release um that day and it wasn't even my idea it was that community yeah. thought of that idea and brought it and uh it was a lot of fun man and we it just stuck we we had so much fun doing it um a lot of people talk about burnout and not want to see the meta and and hate hates going on ranked or gets stuck in platinum purgatory and sometimes you just want to chill and play magic with friends and that's that's for the most part i might open a stream on a standard ranked game but we go into direct challenges and we're just there to have fun and talk and bs it's not like the uh super ultra competitive uh, play styles of some streams which works for them and that's a real thing i'm not yeah. down on that at all it's just that's where we're different we 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 come to play table magic with our community so well and you're so well demonstrating that uh that piece that i feel is so important and where you and i really do see eye to eye despite me playing ranked i mean that's that's my norm as i play on the best of one ranked ladder and that's that's the the whole idea but one thing that I've always tried to maintain is an attitude that is fun if you win and great if you rank up and all that stuff, but that's certainly not the goal. The, the goal of the channel has always been to enjoy the game for the fact that it is a game and to mm -hmm. experience a lot of different play styles, play patterns, decks, all kinds of different things, which is why the channel is set up in the way that it is in which we 
we always play a new deck every single day. Um, it might be a reiteration of a deck that yeah, I know I played so many Delver decks when Delver first came into standard, <laughs> uh, different versions, but you know, that's okay. The yeah. idea is that we're learning to do different things and trying different things and just having a good time doing it. And like that has always been the idea behind the it resolves channel. And that's par partially where the alignment of Country Fried and It Resolves as channels just made so much sense was despite us being, you know, the the gameplay is in a bit of a different direction where I'm on the ranked ladder, you're normally just playing, you know, fun, jank-style decks, yeah. and so you don't necessarily have to worry about the ranked. Um, and that's okay, but, like, we, we do it in a different way, but the mindset's the same. Um and that's that's where again this this first came up where it was just like oh this guy's perfect for what we've got we've got going oh on. i'm perfect i'm <laughs> telling my wife and there's no denying it now she'll disagree no, but it's fine. Uh, she will absolutely 100 <laughs> percent. but no man um yeah it, it is different styles what i do like about this though too and you'll probably segue this may be the segue um <laughs> is that this does open me more time to go focus on ranked and build more viable decks yeah. as i go along even in my style um and uh but before i i'm gonna actually go backwards a little bit okay um it is a lot of fun on stream with the direct challenges we do have people that are trying to pull off combos and we can talk in chat and they're like hey can you throttle down yeah um, because you're trying to see if it works and sometimes you need play testing Oh, to yeah, see if it sure. works and um even if it doesn't work like i think the other night we had to go an extra six rounds because i had death on the board for them but yeah. uh we went an extra six rounds so they could land a card to see the interactions of the card and i'm okay with that yeah. i'm okay with that and helping you know talk and discuss ideas within the community and that's kind of what we do guys uh, we just we're there for talks and discussions and even if a game runs long for someone there's there's no reason to push them to go any faster um they're actually there trying to learn or try to build something and who knows maybe somebody does build the brand new orzov angels or something to come out of the treasure chest that nobody even thought of and just absolutely slaughters meta and that's kind of what we're hoping happens eventually one time or yeah. two times but it's it is magic in a bottle it's not always possible but what else is cool is uh another thing you don't see behind the scenes is uh i played somebody and it was a match it was just a match we were mm -hmm. going back and forth and they beat me and uh i got a dm after stream and it said hey dude you didn't have to do that you didn't have to let me win and it was like you played a deck yeah that matched very well against mine you didn't know my deck when we went in and i didn't know your deck when we went in unless you want to set it up that way and we yeah, can't yeah. but you didn't know mine i didn't know yours you won that match i don't even let my kids win <laughs> so <laughs> so take it for what it is yeah you earn that win and without saying names i mean the message back was really cool and it was uh thanks country for i appreciate it man that's got to be one of the coolest statements i've ever heard yeah and it, it man it, and that's what we build that's yes. what we build there are moments that you're not going to see on screen that happen behind the scenes and i talk to my community as much as i can and as it gets bigger i don't know if that's you know it's I don't know how much how that's going to go, but we're we're definitely going to still do that. It may just take me five ten minutes longer to get to a message, but that's what we build. And then uh, back to what I was saying before that was uh, going in to this schedule. I can focus more on ranked and putting more stronger viability decks together instead of having to focus on putting videos out and maybe throwing decks out that i was just trying something we did get to pop it off but i'm not super happy with you know i hear you get to see the trick but yeah. now i can build decks and you know i can still make videos and then send them to kevin and if he wants to use them throughout the week he can take a day off if he wants to give you a bonus video he can, it, it did make a lot of sense man i've never seen a channel with two co-operators like this and that's part of the idea i liked is we can complement each other we can help each other out and that almost makes it even more manageable i completely agree um and before i continue if you hear my dog barking in the background sorry guys i don't know what I, just happened she just like went crazy it's super um, low okay good <laughs> um 
but to your point, um, yeah, this is this is very much a, a 50 50 split in the terms of, um, you know, what we're responsible for and what we're trying to do here. The idea was not for us to just output more content. The idea was to put content on uh, put the content that we're good at together under one roof. And it happened to be that it resolves had the analytic data to say, OK, let's put it there. But this could have very easily gone the other way in terms of that. It's just that, you know, we both are really, I think, very good and very skilled at what we're doing. And so the compliment here is phenomenal. And it's it's just like an obvious, I, I don't know, like mesh. I, it just made so much sense in my head at the time where I'm just like, OK, if Country Fried just deals with the streams and I'm dealing with the recorded content, well, now all of a sudden you know, both halves of that coin or both sides of that coin are taken care of, but it's not, it's not mutually exclusive. Like you can record content if you want and we'll throw it up on the channel or I could do a live stream and that's perfectly fine too. But like, if that's the, the area of responsibility, the divide and conquer method makes so much sense here. And it's like, we, we can create a, a, a hub for just such a pause and my hope is a, a positive community and build that even further i think we've done a great job individually of building that positive community let's continue doing that but let's do it together under one roof where we're hopefully working with a large audience and hopefully building that large positivity and like i i'll say for one thing one of the one of the things that and this is going all the way back to when you and i first started working together one of the things that caught my eye when I first popped into your stream was was that positive aspect and was that that uh, general like everybody was just in a good mood <laughs> is kind of how I would phrase it. And like everybody was was trying to help you or help, uh, you know, in, in the case of versus matches, help the other person figure things out. And it was such a positive thing. And I've been around magic long enough uh, to know that that's not always the case. Mm -hmm. Um there are times that come to mind where we've had very large fractures in the community um, for whatever reason. Maybe it was based around a content creator, a pro player, whatever. Um, but all of those things lead to divides in the community, which I wholeheartedly disagree with. I don't think you have to have a divide in the community based around some, you can, based around a disagreement. I think it's pretty easy to just be like, nah, just... That's it. Like, it's cool. You have your opinion. I have my opinion. And so the coming together of the It Resolves channel and the Country Fried channel in a larger scale is hopefully a representation of that positivity and the 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 positive outcome of collaboration and and what that can lead to. And while no, at this moment, we don't know what that's going to lead to at all. This is very much a like we're shooting in the dark at this point. We don't really know how this is going to end up going, but... Um, I have a strong inkling that it's going to be a very optimistic thing and a very positive thing and I, not just for our community, but hopefully the magic community as a whole. And so um, all of this to say, uh, at the end of the day, this, I think, is just one of the best things, again, that has ever happened with the It Resolves channel to be able to work with somebody like Country Fried, who is such a positive influence, who has got the work ethic, got the got the the community aspect already there that they're working to build and now uh bringing that under that it resolves umbrella it's just I, i'm so thankful for this opportunity to work with you on a more regular basis <laughs> um <laughs> but also hopefully build build the channel as a whole yeah bro look uh, yeah thankful man thankful yeah humbling and thankful the platform is huge that you're offering <laughs> um and and guys i don't again without getting into the to the minute details of it um the discussions that was probably what i was most worried about is if if this went sideways as we were discussing it um but you have been completely transparent and it was always uh i need you to feel ownership of this this is a partnership this is not this is not a you work for me thing. It's um, so I, I, man, I cannot uh, explain how thankful I am for the opportunity that you're giving me, but how thankful I am just throughout the process of the discussions and everything, how much you were 
always trying to reassure me that this was, you know, not, there was nothing hidden. There was no agenda um, other than us both being able to focus on one channel and offer the community as a whole, which was the country fried community and the, it resolves community, which is now the, it resolves community. Um, but the fact that we could offer a wider variety of materials as well as we as we slowly roll this out um, and make sure everything's going smoothly without spoilers. Yes. Don't be nervous. No, no. I'm good. <laughs> there are, and I, but the only reason I'm going to mention this here is because I mentioned it on the live stream without going into what the actual projects are, or the discussions are, and stuff like that. There is, there is an expanse of of things that we want to do. We we do have ideas and stuff that we talk out, and uh, you know, it's I, I'm I'm super excited to go into it, man. I know we have to focus on the rollouts and yeah. everything, and make sure things go smooth, and and people who are listening to this or watch, I mean, there, there's technical aspects and you, you know, there may be hot keys that I got to set up that don't work on stream <laughs> or, or there may be thumbnails that Kevin's got to build. And then we still have to put out the video content on the air resolves channel on your end. And yeah. I still got to make the live streams on my end. But once, once it all gets uh, smoothed out, which shouldn't be too terribly hard. It should, yeah. it really shouldn't. But once we're both comfortable that we know that it's in a steady state, we are going to start the discussions mm -hmm. and the development of the other ideas that we have and the projects we have. And it's, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that can still be done. And there's a lot more things that we can bring to the community uh, to offer you guys with, uh, with the uh, channel. So uh, yeah, man. I'm super excited about <laughs> it. I'm so stoked. Well, I'm so stoked. And I, and again, uh, yeah, if you weren't you, it would have never happened. <laughs> oh my God, if, that's so sweet. It, it just wouldn't have happened, man. It just would. I'm sorry, bro. It's this is the way it is. It, no, uh, I, it, I appreciate it, that very much. Um, but truthfully, that that's a that's a statement that I, I think is a two way street, and that's that's why this is working as well as it's working in terms of the the chemistry of us being able to work together on projects and now being able to work on a single channel together. Um, that's why this works so well. You can't, there are certain things in the content creation world that you cannot um, either replace or are very difficult to find and are things that when you do find them, I feel it's very important to do everything you can to keep that uh, that that going. And the collaboration aspect is one of the hardest things as a content creator, at least I have found. Um, for a, ver a variety of reasons, sometimes it's your own schedule, sometimes it's the other person's schedule, sometimes it's the personality clash, sometimes it's, you know, they're just not willing to. I mean, I've, I've had that a handful of times where I've reached out to, especially early on, because I was naive and didn't know what I was doing, you know, you you re reach directly out to somebody and they're like, why would I work with you? <laughs> um, and so from that perspective, it's I've had my fair share of attempted collaborations that just did not work out. And so to finally have the one that did be this one is worth all of those those failed attempts, because at this point, this is such a, a, a rarity uh, to find this this positive of a collaboration that at this point, it, again, everything that we've talked about up until this point has been such a no brainer and such an easy decision because we've been able to manage that chemistry very, very well. And um, everything else is secondary to that. And what I mean by that is it's really easy to see somebody that makes really good content, but if their chemistry with you sucks, just doesn't matter. Like that will never be a successful collaboration. Whereas if that person, and thankfully you're not this person because you also <laughs> make killer content, but you know, if a person has really good chemistry and not great content, I would much rather work with that person. I have lucked out in the sense that Country Fried does both of those things extraordinarily well. And so at this point, we, uh, you know, everything has just led up to this in a, a meaningful way. And so it's, it's phenomenal. Well, thank you, man. But yeah, uh, yeah. You hit on it too. Uh, a big selling point for me was not just that our personalities didn't clash. Yeah. Um, your work ethic, man. 
<laughs> uh, look, I, I know it sounds easy. Oh, well, if you want to do it, you're just going to put in the work. Yeah, no, people get burnt out and people don't. And people don't try to take care of their community the way they should. Sometimes they're they're selfish in it um, and they want to take time off. So they just close down, you know, or or there's real life, too. Yeah. You know, there's family and there's work and stuff. And, and Kevin's always put in the work ethic that, uh, I, I think some parallel of man. I don't even think I've got that type of work ethic. And and look, I'm going to give a behind the scenes glance, guys. Oh. <laughs> so, oh, oh here yeah, we go. Be, be nervous, bro. Oh, no, no, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, I have minor OCD tendencies, and uh, <laughs> this dude will build a spreadsheet for everything. I do, <laughs> and yeah, I, and I love it. I, I do. absolutely love it. So I, I have to be, I have to be very organized because I am. <laughs> I don't know if I'm undiagnosed ADHD or what, but I'm. I've got so many thoughts yeah. going at a million miles that it's. I have to write things down and stay organized, and that's part of the OCD as well. Yeah. So not only was it the personalities and the and the work ethic, but man, yeah. The dude makes a spreadsheet for everything. I do. Even this episode <laughs> so, has a spreadsheet, yeah. and there's literally Every just like episode. a description that's like, hey, we're just going to talk about this. There's like no other notes. It's literally just yeah. that. Um, yeah, no, it's I've... perfect, though. It's perfect. Don't ever change it, man. Don't no, ever change no. it, guys. And I mean, that, but that is the difference. That is the difference. Um, some people can talk about it and it sounds really good. And uh, then others can talk about it and bring it to fruition and back up what they're talking. And uh, and that's what I got a hold of. And <laughs> and it's priceless, man. Uh, having having Kevin even request was humbling, but uh, the fact that I got to take hold of that and he's mine. Do you guys don't know? I'm you kidding, own me. But, um, yeah. So no, it was. Uh, yeah, man. It's it's a it's a it's a priceless commodity to have all that line up um, like that in a person. And like I said, if you weren't you, it would have never happened for me because I just can't. I'm, I'm very difficult to get along with, <laughs> believe it or not. Doesn't but, seem that uh, way. No, and that's why, that's why, that's yeah. why. If you weren't you, it wouldn't have ever happened because I need that schedule. I need yeah. those spreadsheets. I need somebody talking to me. I need somebody behind the scenes that will hash out an idea with me and uh not just be like dude leave me the hell alone <laughs> um <laughs> so it was it was um like i said i think to be 100 percent honest it was always a yes in the back of my mind it was just a discussion of how do we get there yep. that i'm the most comfortable with and uh do you yeah, yeah. Uh, I appreciate all the kind words, but yeah, I'm just equally as thankful, if not more so, and uh, definitely know um, what the opportunity could bring yeah. in the bigger, bigger scheme of things as we go forward. But uh, yeah, it was a no-brainer. It was well, a no-brainer. I'm certainly happy to hear that, and I do appreciate the uh, the kind words as well. Um, mm -hmm. You know, this even the spreadsheets, even the spreadsheets, especially <laughs> the spreadsheets. Yeah, um, I will certainly be continuing that process. Yeah, I'm OCD Good. as well, so I have to have stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a constant battle in my brain of, okay, I need to get X Y Z done. How do I get it done? What's the most efficient way, and all that stuff. But um, I so as we're kind of getting through all the like how this happened and stuff i do want to say and, and something that you touched on uh as well is you know over the next few weeks this is going to be a learning experience for both of us and for our communities as a whole uh one thing i would encourage from both communities is to be as welcoming as possible and if if some of the country club is already in our it resolves community or vice versa great um you guys already know each other and i i'm very happy to have everybody kind of under one umbrella now um, but as new people are coming in, let's all make, make the pledge to be as welcoming and as positive as possible because everybody has every right to be where they're at and to enjoy the content that we're hopefully going to be able to produce. And so, um, this is for, uh, really the, the idea behind all of this is to be a positive community. And so please, please keep that in the back of your head as you're, interacting in the discord hanging out with country fried on live streams in the comment section on the videos that i'm putting out like please please keep that in the back of your head it's okay to be critical but ideally in a positive way if we can um 
that's something for everybody that I think we can encourage. But all that to say, uh, like I said, the next couple of weeks are going to be a learning experience for us. Obviously, Country Fried getting set up on the live stream side of things for our channel. Uh, that's going to be a really big thing. And so we're going to try and get that going, like he said, this evening. Uh, please do stick around for that. You'll get a notification in Discord, of course, uh, as well as in other places that that's going up. Um, in the in the meantime, if you guys have suggestions or things that you feel would be helpful for us to know as we're moving forward, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. Please DM us if you're not comfortable throwing it in a, a general chat or a, a suggestions chat. That's okay. Uh, I want to encourage that kind of one-on-one -on -one communication as well, because I feel like a lot of content creators bypass that. Um, and, you know, to your point, that's been a very big part of especially your community, and I would suggest mine as well in some ways. And so um, please feel free to reach out to us with any suggestions, ideas that you might have that we can help build on some things. We've got plenty of our own. Um, <laughs> but sometimes it's really easy to get caught up in those own in your own ideas. And... Um, Part of this collaboration is to incorporate two people working on those ideas, not one. But I think on a broader scope, em encouraging everybody to have ideas because the channel, it resolves, and Country Fred, but now that it's under one umbrella, the channel, it resolves, would not exist without the community behind it. So you are the important part of the community uh, or, or the It Resolves channel as a whole. And so we are here to hopefully make stuff that's fun for you guys. And that's, that's the goal. Uh, so we're going to do our best to do that. Uh, as Country Fried kind of alluded to, we do have a number of ideas coming down the pipeline that we're going to be working on uh, and working towards. Some of those aren't going to happen right away. Some of them we're going to try and push out as quickly as we can because we think they're really you know, great ideas that we can get out fairly quickly. Um, but we, we now have two heads working instead of one. And so hopefully as the channel does continue to hopefully grow and the live stream aspect of it resolves grows, um, we can really take stock of what you guys have to say as well. So I think, I think all in all, this is going to be a really great experience. Uh, and again, welcome to, to all the country fried individuals, the country club, as it's known, uh, we're not getting away or, or giving, uh, taking away the country club, by the way, that's sticking around for anybody that hangs out on the stream. It's the country club for sure. Um, but just happens to be on the It Resolves channel now. So, uh, but all that to say, we're not getting rid of the country club community. We want to, we want to build it. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. I would have had a complete mutiny on my hand. They I know. Took complete, <laughs> they took so much ownership of that. I told them, I was like, hey, we talked about it because <laughs> yeah. I was worried. I get it. Um, but no, I, I agree, man. I agree. Look, we want to, not just the communities that are coming together now, but as new members come in and stuff like that. Uh, what I like to try and focus on with the streams and stuff is just be, you know, be respectful. Yep. Be respectful. Um, be as respectful to somebody as you would want them to be to you if you had a question that you may have thought was intermediate and magic. Yeah. And I mean, that's all we're there to really talk about is magic. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just be respectful. I mean, that would be the, that would probably be the quickest way to get me to throw up walls yeah. to any individual is if you just come in and start being disrespectful to people. Um, yeah, we don't, we, we, don't, do, we, 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 we don't do that. Oh no, no I'm fine with I'm it. Cool I'll, with banning people I'll say it. To um, look, this community is, I'm not going to use the term safe space because that just <laughs> sounds horrible but uh <laughs> but um it you know it is a magic community i yeah. want i want uh i want everybody from somebody who hasn't even uploaded the game that's interested in it to somebody that's played it for you know 20 years yeah 30 years um so uh yeah they're they're great man they're great and Good. and and you you said it too uh we get to be the faces, the ambassadors, and the owners of the channel. However, uh, the way we ran it on the Country Fried channel and the way it's been ran over here was one and the same. It's, yeah, yeah we're the faces and we're the owners, but it's, the community, it's you, the community really. that makes anything we do possible and viable. Yeah. And and uh, you you just by your interactions of what we put out, show us whether we're doing it right or not and we take it we we take it seriously and we do look at it. we like to have fun yeah of course but when we do sit down and look back we look back at analytics and what what did we 
what worked, what didn't work. And if it didn't work, why didn't it? Was it something that I was doing? So, um, there, you, you are the driver of the, the community is the driver of, I'm not saying criticism, like it's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but you are what makes us look at what we can improve upon for you. And it's always a concern. We're always trying to improve for you guys. Absolutely. Um, and with that guys, we do just want to say, this is a really great opportunity. We're excited to see how this goes. Um, and as, as, uh, as we do get into this again, share with us your comments if it's working if it's not working it doesn't matter we're gonna make it work but um (laughs) we want to make sure that uh you guys are enjoying everything so we'll we'll do all that we can to uh to make that possible but uh as a final thing i just want to say again welcome uh to the to country fried specifically but as well as the community uh it's great to have you guys under the it resolves umbrella uh and specifically to you i think um you know, I, I really appreciate the, the work ethic and the, the willingness to be a part of hopefully something bigger than both of us. Uh, and I think that's really the end goal. So I want to say a huge thank you to you, Country Fried. That, that means a lot, man. A hundred percent, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely uh, reciprocated. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man. Uh, yep. I said it in my statement. Yep. If it wasn't you, wouldn't it happen? Ah, you're too kind too kind well oh, no. guys no. Uh, <laughs> i gotta send a fruit basket your way i forgot about that yeah 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 but, i did make that demand he he wouldn't let me uh record anything till i sent him one so yeah, he's gotta send true. me not nah, i really wish i had like a piece of fruit here <laughs> that i could be like oh i had this apple from your fruit basket or something nice. but i can't do that nice. um nice. well guys traditionally speaking uh we always like to take a little bit of time at the end of each podcast episode uh, to just kind of talk through something fun or maybe magic related, maybe not. We kind of initially said not, but it has been occasionally. This time it's got to be before you, before we tell everybody that they can split. And I don't, I try not to interrupt, but I have to. No, please. If, if you are a community member in general, or if you want to hear how I interact with my community, you kind of need to stick around because this one's going to be for the country club. Heck yeah. Um, well, I'm going to, I'm going to show off a little bit, uh, only because it's been very relevant, uh, Mm -hmm. for me recently. So, and it is magic related. Um, one thing that I've been doing lately is, uh, and you'll notice we've got a TCG player store and all that stuff linked on our website. I've been kind of going through my collection and selling off a lot of it, uh, solely because I just have too many damn cards, man. (laughs) I, it's ridiculous. And so I've been trying to go through and minimize a lot, get rid of things that I don't need and that kind of stuff. But with that being said, I'm finding a lot of things that I either forgot I had or that I just completely didn't know. And I'm like, oh, shit, that's really good. So I, uh, I've i created a couple little binders here. And I know, Country Fried, you can't see this, but I want to show off just a couple of cards that I found in uh, today's uh, build up because I thought they were really, really sick. So let me see where the first one is. Ah, here we go. I've got two in particular. The first is an extended art foil uh, jeweled lotus, which nice. I don't remember how much it is. I don't know how much it is right this second. Uh, it used to be worth over like $600, and I was so stoked by that. I was like, oh, shit, that's like my most expensive card. <laughs> I also found two uh, revised demonic tutors. Uh, which are really, really sick, and I love that card, and so I was really happy to find that. Uh, it also has the little pentagram on the head and all that stuff, which is obviously something that they don't really do much anymore. Uh, but I've got tons of binders, tons of fun stuff. You can see all of those cards that I, I usually post those on social media uh, every mm-hmm. once in a while, so if you guys want to see pieces of the collection that I do hold on to, a lot of those are posted there, but... Uh, that that's all i'm just showing off because i'm really stoked about finding those cards that's all <laughs> no that's fine man that's fine yeah man <laughs> demonic tutors i think i was i'm pretty sure the one that darken did the judge foil i'm pretty sure that's vampiric tutor yeah i think so yeah man i love that artwork oh, on that sick. card yeah and that's super, that's my big sick. thing is the collections it's like an addiction man but the artwork yeah i'm just a fan Oh, I'm a yeah. fan of a lot of them. I'm a I'm a fan of some really weird ones too, but <laughs> I'm just a fan of them. Yeah, <laughs> so, I'm with you. I'm with you. But uh, yeah, man. With that, um, look, 
to the country club uh, if you were there tuesday night on the live stream or if you go back and look at it on uh, the country fried channel it's time stamped uh i couldn't make a formal statement to them uh that's not the community we built it had to be something personable that i told them and allowed a q a so if it gets rambly and stuff to anybody outside looking in i do apologize but those who watched and that were there actually knew what was going on because we were all talking in chat and i was answering questions as i was going about it and uh kevin again thank you for allowing me that opportunity to talk to them before we just dropped this on them yes. <laughs> so Absolutely. um it was definitely after we discussed it the right call uh yeah. they probably they they that would have been a big break in trust yes uh with that so thank you personally for for agreeing to that and uh and to the country club man uh look i read them all i read all the direct messages that you guys send me i try to reply to all um and i was going to read one particular one on here but i don't think i can get through it and i'm not i'm not oh. an emotional person yeah. i'm not but uh one of my first probably 10 5 10 subs has been around this whole time and uh sent me a message and we hang out in other live streams as well and uh man i cannot thank you guys enough for the support and the uh and the encouragement and the fact that you guys are you know it's a bittersweet moment because you've taken ownership and supported the channel but at the same time, you guys are like super excited because I, I have to relate it back to the community. And you guys have to know you've you've built this and you've made this opportunity come to fruition. So, you know, I, I love you guys and uh, come see what you built, man. Let's 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 uh, let's rise to the occasion and keep going. So thank you guys very much. That was so sweet. I about teared up a little bit there. <laughs> Man, they're great, dude. They're great. They're killing <laughs> me, bro. I almost did too. <laughs> oh my God. Um, well, let me just finish by saying um, uh, this is a great opportunity for everybody involved. Um, and let's not look at this in terms of numbers. Let's look at this in terms of um, the opportunities here um, on both ends and, and what we're able to build now that this is a team effort. Uh, and by team, I don't just mean Country Fried and I, I mean the communities as a whole. Uh, this is an opportunity for all of us to build something even greater uh, than the capabilities of any one person. And so um, to, to take this opportunity and just say a huge thank you to everybody, Country Fried, uh, you involved, uh, or you included, the community that you have built, um, the community on the It Resolve side of things, we are all one now. Uh, and this is a, a really, really big thing um, that I did not think in a million years would ever be when it resolved started. I didn't think this was ever going to happen. So uh, I, I just want to say as as a representative, I will say as it, of it resolves um, that I am so thankful for this opportunity and so thankful to have somebody like Country Fried uh, to, to be a part of this. And so um, thank you. Thank you to everybody. Um, let's let's make this thing something awesome. Let's 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 make it more awesome than it already is. Because let's be let's be honest. Both of the communities individually were awesome anyway. Uh, but I mean, when you multiply it by two, we gotta imagine that it's gotta be even better. So uh, a, oh. a a massive thank you for for everything involved here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna kick some ass, man yeah we are we are <laughs> we all are guys we all are you're in the driver's seat too yep uh your support counts trust us yeah. when we say that it's it's not placating no it's it's an absolute uh we love you guys man you yeah, guys absolutely drive it Hut couldn't agree more we absolutely love you guys but uh with that i think we are going to wrap up today's podcast episode this has been a big one uh never had an announcement like this before on the channel so again thank you for the opportunity guys um encourage you all of you again to to drop suggestions for us hopefully you're excited about this change because i do think it's a really good one for the channel uh as a whole and for both of us individually i think this just makes the most sense um 
but hopefully for the community this is this is a push in the right direction so thank you all for making this possible thank you for listening to today's podcast episode we'll get back to most likely some regular programming on uh, the next one uh, i have no clue what the topic's going to be yet because i know this was vastly different than the norm yeah yeah um, i think we should probably dip into what we were originally thinking about with this we had a new yeah. set come out and we had this come out yeah so it's been really focused on that i think yeah. maybe we take a topic i think we do i think that might be the way to do it um but all that to say guys thank you again for listening watching wherever you're doing it uh make sure you subscribe to the it results channel make sure you check out country fries live stream this evening uh, for anybody who's excited for that, uh, leave some comments down below. But guys, thank you so much. This has been an absolute pleasure. And it's a glorious day. That's, that's, that's awesome. Stoked, man. Stoked. Peace. <laughs> there it is. Yes. <laughs>